Well, it's a happy Wednesday to you. That's uh, where we are today in this whole progression. And isn't it amazing how political everything is? I mean, I got to tell you, you know, we don't even talk politics around here, but I just, I want to say this. Uh, I want to avoid politics when it comes to health and going forward. And uh, agendas just shouldn't matter other than the agenda of what is best for most people. And uh, I'm really hoping uh, that all these folks that have been out of work or unable to work can get back to work as soon as they possibly can in the safest way possible. Because who, I mean, how could it be good for somebody? You go to work and then you get sick and now you don't work or you get somebody else sick. So I'm really hoping that we can uh, have good judgment and uh, rise to the occasion here and uh, speaking of the word rise, that's my fifth installment uh, on the Lose It For Life journey. And, you know, I, I've said a lot of folks have picked up the, the Corvid-19 Corvid and um, we want to lose those 19 pounds if possible. And to me, it's not just a matter of losing it, but it's a matter of how do I keep this off for the longest time hopefully for a lifetime. So I developed this Lose It For Life acronym called RISE. Four letters, each of them stand for something, and uh, it, that's what an acronym is, of course. And so here it is. And uh, the first letter, R, stands for reduce. So what is it that I need to uh, have less of if I'm going to succeed long term. So one thing is it would be better to reduce the amount of sugar that I'm consuming. Now we know that processed foods and, and stuff have sugar in them and I won't ever be able to eliminate sugar altogether. But, um, you know, if, if I'm pouring on uh, 10 teaspoons of white granular sugar in my drinks and stuff or i'm drinking drinks that already have it in there then it's just incredible how much sugar i could be consuming uh, in working with dr daniel amen he one of the first things he told me was that to the brain the the big enemy is sugar and we just have to get rid of sugar uh in every form possible now uh, i've jokingly referred to not the South Beach diet, but the North Pole diet. And what I'm talking about there is anything that's white like the North Pole. White flour, white rice, white icing, white sugar. Flour turns to sugar. Rice turns to sugar. These, these uh, carbohydrates, and there's nothing wrong with complex carbohydrates, but these simple carbohydrates, they just get processed and turn to sugar. So I want to reduce those kinds of things in my diet and i you know fat isn't the enemy but a little less fat probably wouldn't hurt also so reduce what is it i need to reduce i'll tell you something else i need to reduce the amount of time that i spend doing things where i just naturally am eating more so if i'm uh, if it's video games or online or watching television or whatever I need to think about reducing that time for that activity. That could really help me greatly. So that's the R. It stands for reduce in the acronym RISE. Now, how about this? Uh, how about uh, the I? Well, what do I need to increase? Uh, the I in increase means increasing my metabolism. How do I do that? If I can increase my metabolism, then I'm able to eat the same and still lose weight or eat more and still lose weight because my metabolism is churning up and burning. Well, one way to increase my metabolism, of course, is to eat a little more protein, start to eat uh, earlier in the day, keep it going, and to exercise, get my uh, body temperature up sooner. And, and, and jolt the metabolism into an increased rate earlier on in the morning. So 
Uh, I want to increase my exercise. I want to increase my metabolism. Uh, I want to increase uh, the lean meats that I eat, and I want to increase the fresh vegetables that I eat. All of these increases help me. They also, the more I increase those, then it helps me deal with the reduction in the more uh, addictive kind of things that I've been eating, like sugar and flour and all of that kind of stuff. So I need to increase, uh, and I need to increase the spiritual aspects of my life. I need to increase the support that I have from other people. Healthy uh, connections, and I in just connection in general. Most people need to increase uh, the connection that they're experiencing. So all of that, when you put all that together, I can start to live a different kind of life as I reduce the crummy stuff and I increase uh, the really great stuff in my life, such as support and healthy connection. All right, then the S. S stands for substitute. So uh, one of the things that I did uh, early on is I substituted these muffins, which had a lot of butter, a lot of sugar, a lot of calories, a lot of fat and calories, and, and I replaced that with a bagel. And the bagel, you know, had a somewhere, anywhere, depends on the bagel, between 9 and 14 grams of protein. So I, I didn't just eliminate bread altogether or cake or whatever, but I substituted a muffin uh, with a bagel. And boy, that is a huge change. I started going from high fat sugar ice cream to low sugar, no sugar added, non-fat ice cream. And it was a big, huge change for me. And I substituted bad, crummy, processed food for better choices, fresher food. Uh, maybe it was frozen, but it was fresh frozen rather than, you know, some kind of fast food. And of course, I always believed that fast food was fat food. I tried to substitute uh, negative thinking about myself that might cause me to want to comfort myself with food with some positive, uh, healthy thoughts about myself. I substituted unhealthy influence for healthy influence. The self-talk, things I read, things I watched. And I wanted to substitute new patterns, new thinking uh, from the old things that I was doing. And so I would go to great lengths, drive a different direction, uh, bicycle a different way, walk a different route, so that I was substituting and making it a theme. And then finally the E stands for eliminate. I need to eliminate certain things. I need to literally eliminate my negative thinking. I need to eliminate junk food eliminate candy and and you know when i say eliminate let's say chocolate i need to eliminate it from my daily diet it doesn't mean i can't have some chocolate every now and then but as um as ongoing everyday patterns and uh, habits i need to eliminate that and then i can every now and then have some and be fine with it but there's certain areas I need to stop going to, certain places I need to stop eating at, certain people I, I need to stop eating with. I was in a position one time, and uh, the person I worked for wanted me to go to lunch every single day. And I developed TMJ right there because it was so hard to be with this person. And I just found myself clenching my teeth. It was unhealthy and I ate more because of being with this unhealthy person. So we want to eliminate these kinds of unhealthy influences. That's the acronym RISE. Really, when you think about this program, Lose It For Life, that we're going to lay out for you day after day, you know, it encourages activity. Get moving. It encourages that we consume things in a different way. It's going to address the emotional, the spiritual, the relational, and the developmental issues in our life. And we, when we start to do that, well, we literally are 
living a better life every day, changing from the inside out. But we have to ask God to help us in this, to be our partner in this, for us to get better a little bit at a time. Because what you want to do is you want to you see these people losing so much weight so fast, you want to be one of them. But what's going to come of them in a year or less if they haven't made the internal changes that they need to make and I'm hoping and praying that you're going to be doing that it is lose it for life the it isn't the food it's the stuff inside that drives us to the unhealthy food the excessive amounts of food when we change that things will always be better so as we uh, close out today I hope and pray your midweek here it's going to be a a good rest of the week for you uh, do something good for somebody else. There is nothing you could do better for yourself than do something good for somebody else. And uh, next time we get together, I want to talk about doing something for you that relates to somebody else. And it's the area of forgiveness. We're going to cover that. And I hope you'll join me then. Until then, if you need some help, you call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE.